ex-convicts of Reddit. Did you find prison rehabilitating? Why or why not? What would you change about the system if you could? I did two and a half years went in at 19 got out at 22. It was honestly the best thing that happened to me. I was on a downhill spiral and many of my friends living similar lifestyles are dead. Addicted or in and out of jail. It's been over a decade and I have a loving family. Respectable career and working towards my masters. It's a relief to hear success stories like yours. I'm truly glad it all worked out for you. It was over 20 years ago in Canadian jail and minimum security. I was in for cultivation the only thing mandatory for me was to go to a victim's program so that I became aware of the harm I was causing by selling weed. I grew four plants at home for me and my brother and never sold any and was ratted out by a friend of my brother because I refused to sell him weed for two reasons a he was 15 B I didn't sell weed the rest of the time was gym and cards no fear of killings or fights it was quite chill two years for four plants that are legal here now that is insane as it's my only charge I am trying to get it removed now that weed is legal the Canadian government says it will do so but the red tape and hoops you have to deal with the red pain. Best of luck, brother. Not me, but my boyfriend spent two years in jail for drug possession with intent to sell. He just said he played cards and read a lot. No rehabilitation programs this is a small jail in Florida. Not prison. The thing that sucks is that when a felon is released, they have so many limitations placed on them that are so difficult to overcome. It is very hard to find housing or a job that will take on a felon. Luckily he came from a well-off family. So he was able to live at a relative's house and work for his father's company. But if he came from a poor family, his choices would be extremely limited. Which is why so many felons go right back to committing crimes. They're trying to survive. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle that seems almost impossible to break. I did a job a little while ago for a guy who got permanently disabled in prison. They hired me to create a roll and shower for his wheelchair. He was a real scary, badass motherfucker who didn't my take shit from anyone so the guards locked him in a cell with another guy like him, fully expecting one to kill the other. After the fight, they took their sweet time getting him medical attention. Well, he got out a paraplegic with severe brain damage. Needs 24-7 care and 1 millions from the state. Unfortunately, because he is so severely disabled, he's got a lovely state board of directors that decides what he'll be spending his money on. I couldn't do a nice tile shower for him because vinyl panels are easier to take care of according to them. That's your millions of tax dollars working to rehabilitate a single person. Rehabilitated. My first night in a juvenile facility they put me in a cell with a sheet of cardboard for my bed. They had three juveniles crammed in every cell that was designed to hold one kid at a time. We rarely left those cells because the officers couldn't be bothered to supervise us in the day room. Most of my days in that detention facility were spent in that cell listening to the sounds of the day room TV while the officers watched whatever instead of doing their jobs. This description details a facility I only spent six months at. I finally got out of there when a bed opened up at another facility because the kid died due to not receiving help from the corrections or medical staff. His name was Willie Durden. I could go on for ages about how they don't give a fuck about rehabilitation. Justice is about the almighty dollar sign. No room for much else. Not even close to that. Stuck in a big room with a bunch of shitty people. And all we did was play cards. Have to worry about getting stabbed or killed half of the time. The most I ever did was about 60 days. Big ass room with lots of people. Wasn't horrible just extremely boring, and obviously no freedom or privacy. Would never want to go back obviously but I can think of worse things than county jail. 
I'm not a scholar or anything, but I kind of noticed that it was make or break. You had guys that would go once and never go back. Usually the more vulnerable people who just got caught up but still have support at home. Then there are the people who don't have any support. Prison becomes their home. They live with the boys and they can't go back. In their minds, when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you can't see that you're in a tunnel. You just live in the dark. Did 30 months in Texas in the 90s. All I learned was to fight better and not to trust anyone especially guards and cops. But I guess I did get out early because of how much they screwed me. Hard no. It was extremely overcrowded and for a week I had to sleep in a room with a maximum occupancy of 12. With 21 other men. Most slept on a floor. I got lucky enough to sleep inches from the clogged and unusable toilet. Room was about 85 degrees. Everyone I met in there was just a terrible person. And a lot of them were happy to be there so they could tell their homies they were locked up. Wow that's awful, was this in the states? Pennsylvania, private owned prison, was absolutely the worst experience of my life. One of my cellies was a man who was brought in on a 25-year-old warrant that was made for him. Missing court. Reminds me of the last time I went to traffic court. They had a guy come in for an unpaid fine from 1982 that he said he paid. How you gonna find an almost 40-year-old ticket and send someone to court? Let alone prison for it. America is fucked. This needs a serious tag if you want to keep things from breaking out. Prisoners are not things. Exhibit A. Damn that's mean LMAO. I think we should add in the comments the country, or state, in which it was so that there can be an idea about cruelly functioning prisons. My husband did 40 days. Not sure if you'd consider that long enough to be an ex-con, but the system absolutely did. Nothing to rehabilitate him, he was in work release. But when he was actually within the jail there were zero things for him to do. No programs, no counseling, etc. What it did do was scare the shit out of him. Enough that he won't ever do anything that would make him go back there. It was horrible for him and he never wants to relive having no freedom sleeping on a metal frame with a one quarter inch thick mattress and eating the worst food he's ever been exposed to. I've often heard that people facing long jail sentences request prison because the services available are more conducive to rehabilitation. Very true, jail is much worse than prison. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.